Like underneath my hair is braids. My hair is braided all the way back. Underneath this hair is my hair braided all the way back. Wait, what? There's braids underneath that? And I've taken my hair, literally taken my hair off in the makeup room at work because I work at the station as well. And you can see everyone look like, oh, wait, what's happening? Yeah, generally people are going to think it's an odd sight when someone just takes their hair off. Am I confused about this? Is that what she's saying? That she's taking off a wig? I... It's almost as if, like, they're shocked. Like, it's disbelief. And then the whole, Kim, I touch your hair yeah. if you're not black. So, it's so draining, Poppy. I know you know what I'm saying, right? No. So, uh, in the sense that people I ask to touch people. Yeah. It's a made up tale. And it, and so I told Don, no, I was terrified. Yeah. I was like. It's. It's awful. What fresh hell is this? No, I'm sorry. None of that happened. And why are you appropriating the hair of my indigenous ancestors? I cannot believe that there are throngs of white people who are stalking you like ghouls to touch your hair. I can't speak for everyone, but I don't give a flying f about your hair. Can you imagine for one second a bunch of white people on TV sitting around talking about their stereotypes of black people that they find exhausting to deal with on a daily basis? So the reason we're watching this clip is because Michelle Obama is out there right now spreading racial paranoia and division by claiming she straightened her hair as first lady because, quote, Americans weren't ready for her natural black hair. You're a first class cunt. <laughs> right. So things that Americans Americans aren't ready for, a giant meteor impact, knowledge of secret societies, the existence of aliens, and Michelle Obama's braided hair. Talk about exhausting. Here we have a multi-millionaire former first lady who is loved and adored by the press, who lives in a safe, rich, gated community, who is worshipped by all of America's institutions, but still feels the need to be a victim. Almost like there's something to be gained from it, whether it be dopamine, fame, or power. And I have a question. What exactly does she and folks like her mean when they say natural black hair? If your hair is in braids, that's not natural natural. If your hair is straightened, that's not natural. It could only be natural if you just leave it how it is. Nobody can have their natural hair in a professional environment. So this isn't some white conspiracy against black people. Like this black journalist who claims she straightened her hair to get a job, then curled it afterwards because she heard there was a conspiracy against her, quote, natural hairstyle. It never actually happened, but she was just paranoid that it would based on her stereotypes. Second, since when has braided hair been taboo? White people have braided their hair for centuries. I embarrassingly did it when I was in high school. I had a girl do it to my hair after I watched Menace to Society. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> For that matter, white people have worn dreadlocks for centuries, but we actually run the risk of being physically attacked for cultural appropriation. All right, I've wasted enough brain cells on these hacks. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and subscribe, then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.